Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So uh, today, uh, uh, in preparation to work on these pipette racks, uh, I needed a, a longer uh, mini pallet setup. So um, a lot of you guys have seen me uh, uh, drill, and uh, drill and power tap in the mill, and uh, I thought I would do a little demo. Uh, this is going to be a real quick one. A little demo, show you uh, how to make some time uh, doing this operation. And, um, and then explain, uh, explain the steps and uh, so I'll give you guys some tools to practice with. So uh, let's go check it out and, uh, and then you guys can try on your own. Uh, be careful and um, happy tapping. <laughs> okay, so um, I had need of a, uh, another mini pallet plate, this time kind of a long one. Um, and uh, um, what was I going to say? Um, this is for drilling um, those uh, pipette rack plates. And, um, but what I thought I would show is uh, a lot of guys uh, uh, have seen me power tap and, and drill, but there's, there's some, um, you know, when you have a repetitive operation like this, and this is pretty repetitive, um, there's some things that you can do that kind of actually really speed things up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of holes and then um, the last one I'll go very very slow and we'll talk about each one of the steps and what helps to go faster. Okay so um, now I, you know work your way up in speed you know start out slow and then uh, and then kind of work your way up. Uh, don't try this at, uh, at full speed right out of the gate. Um, but work your way up. So, you know, we're all set up, we're kind of clean. We've got uh, a tap drill and a drill. This is 1032, by the way. <clears throat> okay, um, so let's go ahead and uh, let's do a couple. Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about that for a second. I only got a couple holes left. So, first off, let's start with the uh, the index movement here. So it's it's one inch. So I'm actually counting turns over here. One, two, three, four, five, right? And uh, that gets me really close to my mark, so that it doesn't take me long to line up. And uh, now, when I when I start the drill. If you notice, I started very, very slowly and carefully. Let me go ahead and do that. So I start, this is a jobber length drill, so I want to start carefully to get a good, to get a good zero. But then, once I, once I have a good center, I push pretty hard there. You see how fast my hand's moving? Okay. All right, now that's a number 21 drill. And then, you know, once you have a good, um, you know, a good starting hole, you can actually push the drill pretty hard. We're running about 1600 RPM here. So then I go to the tap. Okay. And you're going, wow, how, you know, how does he, uh, you know, what, how does he decide how, when to reverse, right? Well, what I'm doing is there's a little tapered section right here. I'm watching that. And as that comes up, or excuse me, up, or when it goes down and it starts to get close to the edge of the plate, then I reverse. And I keep my hand on the, on the switch. I lube between each one. I keep my hand on the switch and I let it spin up enough enough to uh, and the other thing is you see that while it's still spinning and this is what you got to be a little bit careful with 
is I just give it a quick grab and that immediately releases the tap. So now I'm really ready to put the drill back in. Okay. So those are just very subtle little things that you might not catch just watching the video. Um, you know, watching it on your own, right? Now, if I describe those steps to you, uh, then you can appreciate the, uh, um, how they add to uh, the, the speed of doing this operation. Now, there's a couple hundred holes in this, and, you know, obviously I'm not going to show all of that on video. Okay, little loop. Start easy. And then give it a good, good push. And so I'm brushing chips and I'm adding a little bit of lube in one shot there, okay? So I, I let it coast into the hole, okay? And then when it's still got a little bit of momentum, then I just take that out, okay? Um, and, you know, as you get practice, you can... Um, um, go faster and faster but the danger is that if it's going too fast and you grab this uh, it opens the chuck all the way and jams it uh, in the out position so that's the uh, the danger there anyway just a couple pointers on um, you know how to make time on a machine right um, a lot of people they don't have anybody that they're working with so um, it's difficult for them to measure their own progress or how hard they're pushing a machine or uh, um, how fat you know how fast they're moving or how productive they are per se okay now you know most of us uh, in our little hobby shops we don't uh, we don't have to work super fast but when you have a couple hundred holes um, anything that you do that uh, takes a few seconds off of that is just you know more time to do something that's funner <laughs> anyway a uh, couple of drilling and tapping pointers